Hi, Valentina. I hope that you had a great um, winter break. Here, I'm going to show you today's assignment. And instead of seven elements of art, we are going to do four elements of art. So this is a quick review of what we really learned last semester. It's just a quick review so that we can apply it when we learn something new this semester. When you have a white sheet of paper, I want you to go ahead and fold it in half, like a hot dog style right and you're going to open it up and you're going to fold it once more like another long hot dog okay once you have it you're going to have one two three four different boxes ready for you you can turn it this way or this way it really does not matter but you're going to watch the powerpoint that i have for you and you're going to write down four elements of art and definition on all four and give me an example on all four so let's do one together uh let's do two together how about that so here on this top quadrant i'm going to put line right take your time to write down that definition and go ahead and write down the definition here it's going to be um an element of art defined by a point moving in a space this is a fancy way of saying it but pretty much line can be long like this it could be thick so if you use it want to use a different pen you can use that too and you can have zigzag line like this you can have curly line i want to have a different types of lines that you can per uh, demonstrate for me here all right now i'm going to go ahead and move on to number two which is a shape okay and i'm going to write down the definition of a shape right here you know what let me zoom in so that you can see it a little bit better it's an element of art that is 2d okay and flat uh oh flat or limited to height and width okay so it could be enclosed shape it could be open shape usually it's an enclosed one we can have a circle we have triangle square rectangle trapezoid right all different types of shapes i want to go ahead and see if you can do that while we are at it why don't i just finish the whole thing with you if you think i'm going too uh, fast i'm sorry you can slow it down or pause and um, you can continue all right so let's go ahead and talk about your third element of art which is a form it's an element of art that is 3d simply put it is 3d it has height width and depth so what are some of the examples of form we have spear okay we have pyramid we have a cylinder right we have um, rectangular prism right all these are formed all right let's go ahead and move on to the fourth one and which is going to be a value so i'm going to write down value here and we've done this before it's an element of art Okay, and it has darkness and lightness of a color. So 
It could be black and white, so I could use that. But as we go down, it gets lighter and lighter, right? Remember that, right? And you can use different color pencils. Let's say I'm going to use a green marker. I'm going to make it darker. And as I go down, I'm just going to make it lighter, right? So I want you to go ahead and give me different color values here. So I want you to go ahead and fold it in four and give me line, shape, form, and value for your first daily grade, okay? Don't forget to do your warm-up. Warm-up is going to be very important for your next lesson, okay? All right, bye-bye.